Today we're taking a look at the Arduino demonstration code samples that exist for the Crystal Fonts 5 inch FTDI Eve 2 FT813 accelerated display. When, this first example is the Crystal Fonts code that was written and it's available on GitHub. This was written from scratch pretty much following the FTDI examples and it's just designed to be very clear and understandable all the way down to the hardware level. So basically there's a logo in the center which is stored in the flash of the Arduino or the Ceduino that we're using and then there's a ball kind of moving around. Since it is a capacitive touch screen you can move a dot around and it's multi-touch so you can get up to um, five dots going at once. And this code right now is compiled so that it does not need a SD card. I'm going to recompile it with the SD card. Alright, so the version of the code with the SD card access is downloading now. And you can see it loads the background off the micro SD card. And then loads a little picture of the earth off the, back, off the uh, SD card. And then it goes back to the touchscreen calibration. Now the touchscreen calibration can be uh, done time after time like we're doing it here. Or you can read these once the calibration is complete your program can read the calibration from the FTDI FT813 chip and save that, you know, someplace in your double EEPROM and then when you power back up you can write that calibration out. That way your user doesn't have to calibrate this every time. So this is pretty much the same demo except for you've got a, a, a bitmap with a transparent uh, pixels which is uh, the earth bouncing around there and then you've also got the uh, scrolling background of the clouds moving across the back and then the logo is rotating in the front. The uh, earth and the clouds are stored from the SD card and loaded into a section of uh, memory on the FTDI called the RAM-G. And the logo is from the flash of the Seeduino and it's also loaded into RAM-G. And this is also touch enabled so you can go drag the earth around if you want. And it's multi-touch so you can um, get a bunch of earths going if you'd like and move those around. The reason we wrote this demo was that this kind of work is almost impossible for an Arduino style microcontroller to do on a big TFT like this. Rotating that earth is way more work than, uh, even rotating the logo is way more work than an Arduino could do. Uh, but in this case it's only using a few percent of the horsepower of the Arduino to send these commands over to the FTDI chip. Okay, this is the first FTDI example. It's called App Graph. Again, it starts with the calibration of the touchscreen. And we've got a couple introduction here. And then this um, shows the ability to put a graph up. And they've used this. This is a clock widget. Just a few bytes creates that. And this is using their text primitives. It's actually quite a few fonts stored in the chip, so you don't have to worry about that. And then since it's a multi since it's touch, you can slide it around. Since it's multi-touch, you can use that to zoom in on the graph and zoom out stuff. So that is the FTDI example called App Graph. Okay, this is the second FTDI example that we've ported over. And it's called App Jackpot. It loads some bitmaps from the micro SD card. and is basically a slot machine. And I'm not quite sure how this thing operates. I guess I need to go get some schooling at the casino, but there's something about you can change the lines, the payoff lines and stuff somehow on here. But again, this is all being done with an Arduino. This type of animation and moving and the coins moving and all that junk, you know, that'd be pretty hard to do if you were trying to shovel all those pixels out from the Arduino to a display. So that's App Jackpot. Okay, the third demonstration from the FTDI samples is a keyboard app. Um, again, all of these examples are available on the Crystal Fonts GitHub. And so you can push the Shift key 
and then, you know, hello world, we're done. And of course the font size can be changed and um, it's, it's just an example app of showing you what you can do. Okay, the fourth FTDI demo is called App Lift. Frankly, I don't know what this thing is. I think it must be uh, some kind of a proof of concept for an elevator or something. It's kind of neat visually, but I'll be darned if I can tell what it does. So basically it's going down with the arrow on the left pulsating and uh, it's got some stars that are scaled and pushed around in the background and then it starts going up and you can see the numbers start counting up. Um, so again, th I guess the fantastic thing here is that it's got all those stars in the background and that text, the, the numbers that are scaling, which I believe are bitmaps, and, uh, and it's all being driven by an Arduino. So that's app lift. And this is the fifth FTI Bridge Tech demo. And this is a, a simple, they call it app main menu. It's just a simple example of how you could show uh, menu items. So once again, they've got some random stuff decorating the background and then each one of these you push into it and it pushes it shows you pushed into a menu and, and if you wanted to go home you'd go home to the main menu again and the menu can scroll and you can um, you know pick these pick these different items on the menu so again fairly simple application just showing how you could do a menu with some different items on here and of course you'd have two-dimensional scrolling or whatever you want to do so that's app main menu this is the sixth FTDI Bridge Tech uh, application. It's called App Meta Balls, which my crazy dyslexic brain always wants to call App Meat Balls. Anyway, you've just got these balls that bounce around the screen and some glowing and stuff. And these, again, this is looks like a lot of work, but it's all work done by the FTDI chip. The Arduino code is fairly simple, and it has kind of some kind of a clustering or flocking behavior that follows your finger around. I think it's just single touch though. And so when you touch some place it wants to kind of, it somehow kind of gravitates towards your finger. So it's interactive in some ways. That's app metaballs. This is the seventh app from FTDI Bridge Tech that we have uh, ported to our Arduino with the Crystal Fonts 5-inch capacitive touch display and it's called App Signals and it shows basically a strip chart and with a hiding, hiding menu so you can speed up the rate which actually slows down the frequency or you can increase the rate which actually so we slow down the rate, increase the frequency. And we've all got our ideas of what up and down should do. And then you can change to uh, ECG looking signal there. Or a uh, sine wave, which is what I think it starts with. Triangle. These buttons are pretty small. I think this is made for a smaller display. Hot spots are a little off. There's the sawtooth finally. So obviously on this big of a display you'd want to make those buttons physically a little bigger. I think this app was probably written for a smaller like 320-240 display instead of a 800-480 display. That's app signals. So the eighth demonstration from FTI Bridge Tech is called App Signature and it demonstrates how you would do like a little signature capture at a credit card terminal or something like that. I'm not the right person to demonstrate this because I never learned how to write, but I know how to make my mark. My mama showed me how to do that. Anyway, it allows you to put, uh, you know, whatever you want to do on there.
that's app signature. So this is the ninth and final FTDI bridge tech sample app for the Seduino on the Crystal Fonts display. It's called App Sketch and basically it's just a drawing pad. Now one thing that's interesting with the uh, FTDI is that all the objects on the screen are actual objects. They're, no, they're not just pixels. You can put pixels on the screen by loading up a bitmap, but you get to tell it where to take that bitmap object and scale it, rotate it, things like that. Um, so these items out here are either points or lines that have been captured from your finger and uh, stored out onto the screen. And then they've got demonstrated slider here. They can change the hue of the the hue of the colors on it. And then there's a clear button so you can clear it. Now this demo could easily be modified by just changing the uh, the, the basically the brush stroke thickness to make that stroke um, thicker. Again, I think these demos were written for a lower resolution display. And then now we're back to the Crystal Fonts demo code, which uh, just shows these bitmap operations. And again, the code that the Arduino has to do to get this display to happen is really quite small. Anyway, so the Crystal Fonts display this is on is our 5 inch. Um, it's a CFA 800480E0 050SC A1, which basically means it's a 5 inch 800 by 480 display. It's got a very bright backlight that's sunlight readable. And uh, as you can see, the connection to this is a, a single, single 30 conductor ribbon cable. And we have tested that to 30 megahertz, which is the limit of the chip. The whole set is, setup is run by this Seduino, which is a, it's a clone of an Arduino that happens to run at 3.3 volts, which is important because it's all 3.3 volt. There's a micro SD card socket hung on there. And then Crystal Fonts makes this little board called the 10098. And this basically gets you from 10th inch centers to that 30 pin conductor. So I'll give you a quick tour of the back side of this uh, display. First off, the whole thing is, is pretty thin. It's not, not very thick. We wanted to make it as thin as possible so it could fit in as many of your products as possible. The, uh, all the connections are made for the, through a single 30 pin 0.5 millimeter FPC, flexible printed circuit, or FFC, flat flexible cable. And uh, so that keeps, basically just mount the mating connector to this on your circuit board and you're pretty much done. Uh, for, we kept in mind that we know displays have to be mechanically mounted, so there's six threaded 256 standoffs, so the hardware's easy to find. And you could either use these as locating posts or completely mount them. Uh, mount them with those posts. They're soldered securely into the board. Uh, look, some of the components on here, you've got the FTDI chip, that's the brains of the outfit. Uh, there's a reasonably efficient backlight switcher over here that controls the backlight. And a supervisor processor takes care of some things that need to be taken care of. And there's a connection for the TFT and a connection for the touch. Thanks for watching.